Welcome to our Overseas Voting informational video. I'm Kenton, and I'm the Voting Assistance Officer at the U.S. Embassy in Ankara. I'm here today with Kendra, the Voting Assistance Officer at the U.S. Consulate in Istanbul. We hope the information we share with you today helps answer your questions about registering to vote, requesting your ballot, and returning your ballot. We've included answers to some of the questions we have received from you, but if we don't answer your question today, please check the FAQs on fvap.gov or reach out to us by email. I'll start by talking about the process of registering to vote and answer some of your questions about the registration process. Registering to vote from overseas is fast and easy. Fill out the Federal Postcard application on fvap.gov and send it directly to your state official. If you saw our recent videos and social media posts, you know that the recommended date to register to vote from overseas was on August 1st. But if you miss the deadline, don't worry, it is not too late to vote. Check fvap.gov for your own state's deadline and register as soon as possible. In fact, that will be one of our key messages today. Don't wait, act now to register and vote. While most states will allow you to register to vote by email, it is important to confirm that your state allows this. If not, you will need to mail your registration forms as soon as possible. FVAP.gov's online assistant is a fast and easy way to find the right forms for your state and get specific instructions for how and when to return your registration forms and your ballot. FVAP.gov also has a frequently asked questions page to help you navigate the process. This is a sample of the first part of the federal postcard application, which is what overseas citizens use to register to vote. We received some questions asking about changes to your address, name changes, or other information on the form. It is possible to confirm your registration and the information you provided by contacting your state election official. You can also go to www.usa.gov confirm voter registration for links and a video about the process of checking your registration information. Some of the most common questions we have received are about where to register to vote and which state and address to use for voting. First, you cannot register to vote at the embassy or consulate. You must register directly with your state. But when you receive your ballot from your state, you can drop it off at the embassy or consulate with a postage paid envelope, and we can mail it on your behalf. You must check your state's deadlines and instructions and ensure your ballot and envelope will be accepted by your state. Due to potential delays in mail worldwide this year, we recommend you return your ballots as soon as possible once you have received them. Second, if you have never lived in the U.S., you might still be able to vote depending on your state. Check fvap.gov to see your state's requirements and which address to use in this case. In general, the address you use to vote is usually the last place you lived in the U.S even if you no longer live there. So, if you haven't registered to vote yet, head to fvap.gov today to do so now. Now, we'll turn to Kendra, who will tell us more about what to do once you receive your ballot. Thanks, Kenton. My name is Kendra, and I'm the Voting Assistance Officer at the U.S. Consulate General in Istanbul. As Kenton mentioned, I'll be talking about how to send in your ballot and answering your questions about mailing your ballots and using the federal write-in absentee ballot as a backup option. After you register and request your ballot from your state, they should send it to you either by mail or email, depending on your state. According to fvap.gov, all states must allow you to receive your blank absentee ballot electronically when requested. This may include email, fax, or online download. Generally, ballots should be received by early October. For overseas voters, we recommend returning your ballots no later than October 13th. If you have your ballot ready before then, 
You can mail it as soon as you receive it. The earlier, the better. While some states allow you to email your ballot and a handful accept a fax, a number of others require you to send it by mail. For these states in particular, getting your ballot in the mail as soon as possible is important so that it's received by the deadline. Check your state's details for the deadline for ballots to be postmarked and received. Some of you have asked if you can print your ballots at the embassy or consulates, but unfortunately that isn't possible. However, there are print shops in many neighborhoods where you can print your ballot and envelope forms. As you saw on the previous map, there are a number of states that can accept your scanned ballot by email or fax. Be sure to follow the instructions your state provides for how to correctly email your forms directly to your state officials. Please note that even when you email your ballot, you will first need to print and sign the forms and then scan them in to email them with any cover page required by your state. An electronic signature is not accepted. We understand that due to COVID-19 and other obstacles, you may not be able to travel in person to the embassy or consulate to deliver your ballot. You can also use postal services or courier services such as DHL, FedEx, or UPS. In order to drop off your ballot, you can come to the embassy or consulates and put it in our locked ballot boxes. In Istanbul, the ballot box is at the entrance to the consulate on the right side of the doors near the parking lot. You should wear a mask when you come to the consulate, but you will not need to enter the building or go through security to drop off your ballot. You can drop off your ballot during working hours Monday through Friday between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. In Ankara, the ballot box is outside the consular gate. You can drop off your ballot between 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. In Adana, please send an email to request an appointment time when you can drop off your ballot. If you have registered and requested a ballot, but you have not received it, and you are concerned that there will not be enough time to return it, you may use the Federal Write-In Absentee Ballot, or FWAB. You can use the online assistant at fvap.gov to complete the write-in ballot. The online assistant uses your state's requirements to take you through the process of filling out the forms. Then, download the PDF package, print, sign, and send. You will need to have your own envelopes to submit your completed FWAB by mail. Envelope templates are available to download online at fvap.gov. If you receive your state absentee ballot after submitting the write-in ballot, complete and return it too. If both the write-in ballot and your state absentee ballot are received by the deadline, only one will be counted. A common question about the federal write-in absentee ballot is, what do I do if I don't know all the candidates running for office when completing the ballot? You can write in your party affiliation and name misspellings are okay. Check with your state's election office to see if your ballot has been received. The embassy and consulate cannot check this for you, nor can we guarantee that your ballots will arrive on time. We can only send in your ballot once we've received it, and from there it is sent by mail and depends on mail processing times to arrive. As we mentioned in the previous slide, if you're concerned about timing, you can also send in a federal write-in absentee ballot. Again. While August 1st was the recommended deadline to register to vote, check your state's registration deadline now and register to vote as soon as possible if you haven't yet. Overseas citizens should mail their ballots in no later than October 13th, and the earlier, the better. If you are concerned about your ballot arriving in time, you can use the federal write-in absentee ballot. Again, only one ballot will be counted, so you could still send in your state's official ballot once you receive it. If you have other questions about your state's deadlines, forms, and instructions, go to fvap.gov for the best answers and links. You can also subscribe to their emails or follow them on social media for updates and reminders. There's also a toll-free number you can call from Turkey for assistance with specific questions. 
If you cannot find your question, you can always check our website and email us, and we'll do our best to assist you or provide you with links and information to get the answers you need. Thank you for joining us today and for your interest in voting absentee. We're here to help and we look forward to receiving your ballots soon.